All right, guys. So Hard Knocks Forge has challenged us all to do an updated toolbox tour. He's giving bonus points for goggles. So here you are. Updated toolbox tour coming up. Okay, so the top of my box is a disaster. Yes, I know. Uh, anyway, over here we've got, uh, that's the first of many magnetic dishes. Uh, that one is carrying a whole lot of the uh, dashboard fasteners from the truck because I have been trying to uh, re repair the heater system in that thing unsuccessfully so far. Anyway, uh, these are from Snap-on. These are the first of the Snap-on tools I, I have that you'll see. I don't have a ton of them, but I do have a few. But uh, I've got metric and standard uh, Allen Head 3 h drive sets. I use these things all the time, and they are extremely handy on that because that's got a lot of metric, a lot of uh, Allen head fasteners. Anyway, here is the uh, shop manual for the, the Harley Davidson factory shop manual for the Sportster. There is the factory shop manual for the Johnson Outboard 55 horse. Uh, you see, that is a pneumatic stapler, but believe it or not, it runs off of a battery pack, not off of air, so that makes it very, very handy. And several um, industry magazines said that the Ryobi, which is what this is, the Ryobi was the best out of all the uh, electric staplers that they tried. Uh, gloves, these are okay, but they tear a lot, so I need to get myself some of the heavier ones, like the 7 or 9 mil gloves. Uh, zip ties, you can never have enough zip ties, so I've got zip ties all over the place. Uh, it's a breathing mask for when I do any painting or any kind of undercoating work on the truck. Because I do do that because we spray an oil-based undercoating on the bottom of the truck during the winter to try and uh, minimize the rust. Uh, here's another one of the magnetic trays. Got WD-40, white lithium grease, Goo Gone. This stuff is awesome. It'll take just about anything off. I don't care if it says grill. I'm telling you what, that thing will take just about anything off. Um, PB Blaster, set of safety glasses. I have a set of safety goggles back here somewhere. I'm, it's... Buried. Like I said, my at the top of my box is a disaster right now. Anyway, a couple of plastic oil filter wrenches that came with the house. There's my old Ryobi 18-volt uh, drill. I have had that thing for so many years, I don't even remember when I bought that thing. It's kind of weak, kind of weak, kind of underpowered, but it did the job for years, so there you have it. Uh, this is one of the matrix attachments for my new Black & Decker 20-volt max tool. That thing is awesome. Uh, this right here is a set of helping hands for any time you're doing soldering if you need to hold a couple of things And you need a spare pair of hands that thing's fantastic and as you can see it's got a magnifying glass So it'll really bring that what you're doing up close really handy uh, Bearing grease high temp bearing grease always handy. These are the um, The cotter pins that I showed you guys in the earlier video always good to have a selection of those on hand this is a new drain valve for the uh, compressor. I haven't gotten around to installing it yet. I will one of these days. Uh, I've got an air chuck here, a random pair of needle nose pliers. I'm not sure why they're, why they're up on the top of the box, but there you have it. There is the battery for the Ryobi. Uh, this is the battery for my Black & Decker. There's a couple more magnetic trays. Again, can never have enough of those. Uh, I've got gloves. These are good for you know El Cheapo usable gloves. They cost me like, I think $4 for the pair. Uh, and this is a very nice uh, hook setup for any one of the Ryobi tools. You clip this thing in where the battery goes, and you can hook the damn thing to your to your belt or wherever the hell you want to. It's very handy for uh, for carrying stuff on to, up under rooftops or something like that. Put the cap back on the PB. Anyway, to start, here is the screwdriver drawer, sort of updated. I got the snap-on ratcheting stubby screwdriver set again i love this thing it cost me a good amount of money it was like you know 165 bucks but damn it that thing is useful there is my little um multi-tip precision screwdriver set from cobalt uh fairly useful the other set that i used to have in my previous toolbox tour video uh, i gave that to justin dow for his technicians of tomorrow giveaway so i'm not sure who got them but i'm sure they'll find them very useful here is the entirety of my Pittsburgh screwdrivers, Pittsburgh Pro screwdriver set. As you can see, again, these things are really cheap. Uh, this one's all chewed up. The handles get really chewed up really easily, and it's really cheap rubber. So even if you just you know use them for a while, the sweat of your hands will start to cause that stuff to tear, and it'll just be these are garbage. But they're a good throwaway screwdriver set. They're cheap enough, so who cares? Uh, I also have my. Uh, 
90 degree tip screwdrivers and my double 90 degree tip screwdrivers. I, again, I love those things. They've gotten me out of jams before, so they're very, very handy. Uh, here's some more precision screwdrivers, um, and this is a scratch all. These are these are always handy. Uh, a couple of fairly long screwdrivers, long flat heads, and actually that's another long flat head. These are my cobalt picks. Uh, those have come in very handy many times. I, they're not really like a, a major duty pick set. I use them mostly for like, you know, picking O-rings and stuff out of kegs when I get, um, you know, some new, because um, the kegs that I buy are all used, so you got to replace the O-rings in them, and these come in very handy for pulling those out. There's the Matco screwdriver set that I won from Cars with Chris. This is absolutely my number one most used tool. Let's go to pliers. This is plier drawer number one. This is, again, the work pro set. Very cheap, but I suppose it'll get the job done for now. And, you know, when I can afford something better, I'll get something better. Uh, I've got two actual vice grip vice grips that my father used to own. I've got the, uh, the larger set and the smaller set. I think these are like 10 inch and 8 inch, if I remember correctly. They're, they're pretty handy. This bench top set has hauled my bacon out of the fire more times than I can remember because these things are awesome. If you do not have a set of needle nose uh, locking pliers, you absolutely need to get yourself a set. Make sure you get a decent quality set because it's important. Because you and I both know a cheap set of locking pliers will cause you more headaches than they're worth. And this set is chrome moly, not chrome vanadium, so it's the stronger steel. I love those. That's an El Cheapo set of slip joint pliers. These things are not the greatest in the world. I don't really care for them much, but they'll take a place in my box for now until I get something better. Uh, adjustable wrench. I've got those in, as you can see, multiple different sizes. Uh, that one, I believe, is a 6-inch. That's uh, some. That's the, the fuller Japanese set. These are all right. This is a fantastic set of slip joint pliers. Craftsman USA made, forged in the USA. Number P2. The part number is... Four five three nine five. I doubt you can get these anymore, but if you can, I'm, I'm telling you right now, those are absolutely fantastic. Uh, my crescent needle nose pliers. I'm not sure where they are. I was using them for something last. Oh yeah, that's right. I was using them yesterday for working on the bike. But uh, I've got the the nipper wire nippers and the needle little needle nose pliers. I remember where I got these. I got them from Home Depot. They were fairly inexpensive and they're a great tool. The Crescent is the uh, another rebrand. It's the made by Apex Tools. So these are the same as if you were to buy a gear wrench set. Those are great. So I suppose technically you could say I do have some gear wrench tools, even though they say Crescent on them. Uh, again, a little tiny set of nippers. These are these have a way better spring than the ones in the Crescents, but they're still you know the Crescents are still great. I love them. Uh, Cobra pliers. I love these Cobra pliers. The Irwin, the Irwins are good, and the uh, the Nipex are probably a little bit better. But I can't really afford Nipex right now. And the vice grips were available, and they were cheap, so I picked them up. Uh, There's my Odeker clamper with some clamps for that thing. Again, I use this in my home brewing stuff, and I'm gonna I use it also in the, on the Harley because they have a lot of Odeker clamps on them, so those will come in very handy. Plier drawer number two, uh, my automatic wire strippers. I love these things. I will never go back to a, uh, the old school set of wire strippers because I hate them. These work fantastic. Uh, and that is a um, channel lock set of, um, of snap ring pliers. You guys have seen that I, I really like these because Harley has a whole bunch of really, really small uh, snap rings. So these come in real handy and they come with the swappable tips. Very, very nice. Uh, outside snap ring pliers. These are made by KD Tools. Uh, I don't know if you can really see the logo there, but uh, let's do this. Yeah, it's covered with a bunch of crap and dirt and grub, but hey, there you go. KD Tools. Uh, these are uh, made by Wiss. Uh, aero, aeronautics, or aero, airplane shears, uh, tin snips. These are really good. I like them. I got them from my dad. Those are great. These are a really cheap set of slip joint pliers that are awful. I hate these things. These have to go in the garbage because these are way better. I got these from, uh, these, these came out of my brother's tools, but this is a way better set than this El Cheapo. As a matter of fact, speaking of that, get that piece of junk out of here. Uh, some random wire cutters. I've uh, got another set. Uh, that's a needle nose, but they've got a wire cutter too. Uh, these are a little tiny set of uh, lineman style pliers. Fairly handy. They need some, they, the handles need to be dipped. They're, uh, but they're they're okay. You know they get the job done. Uh, channel lock needle nose. These things are fantastic. That's a great tool. Channel lock makes really nice stuff, guys. Let me tell you what. 
uh, that's another set of uh, pliers that I need to get. I need to dip the handles for. These are um, these are. I don't know if you can see that, but they're forged in the USA, USA by Kreuter. That's a great set of pliers. I love these things. I've used them a bunch of times for a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, Pittsburgh long pliers. These are like they're not the greatest quality in the world, but they're certainly better than the. Uh, the ones that Tony, the technician, was showing off uh, that he hated. Um, these are these are actually decent quality. They're way better than the Nico ones. That's a straight set, 20 degree, 45 degree tip, and 90 degree tip. And you know they they're just you know 11 inch long reach. I believe they also have a 16 inch long reach set. I may pick those up at some point. I've got uh, some Craftsman Torx drivers here. Uh, I've got a T10, T15, and T20 along with a uh, Craftsman USA um, scratch all, very handy, and a Craftsman uh, quarter inch bit dri uh, manual bit driver. I think at some point I'm probably gonna do a, a giveaway for a Craftsman set, and I'll probably include these three Torx bit drivers, the scratch all, this bit driver. I will also include a set of uh, Craftsman screwdrivers and a full set of Craftsman uh, ratchets, quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. Because I'm again, I've got uh, I've got two set two full sets of each one of those, and I've got way better uh, Torx. I've got different Torx bit drivers, I should say, than these, uh, and these just don't get used. So uh, again, that's the toolkit that I'm going to give to my nephew. I haven't seen him yet, so uh, but I will be giving him that set. That's going to be his first full tool set. I'm sure he'll be very happy to to have that, especially knowing that that came from his dad. Uh, this is pretty much a, my random driver drawer. I've got like all of my Allen keys in here and a bunch of uh, a bunch of other random stuff. Uh, these these right here were the two different. Uh, nuts, wire nuts for the uh, the new speedometer cable that I put on the Harley. That's the drive, that's the 3 h drive guts for a 120 XP uh, ratchet. I may get one of those at one of these one of these days. I was going to try and put that into something else, but I found out that they don't fit because the, diff the, uh, the two ratchets are different sizes, but there you go. Uh, random pieces of hardware, like just screws and nuts and washers. Uh, there's my bow saw from Cobalt. That's fairly handy. Old uh, hatchet. I sharpened that thing up because it was my brother's. It was all beat to crap. Uh, I sharpened it up so that thing is sharp as a razor, but it still has a couple of nicks taken out of the, uh, the blade. But fairly handy for like camping and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I draw, this is my drill bit drawer, and also uh, these are all my panel tools, my interior panel tools. Got to have one of those. Uh, Unibit. I've got some RTV silicone. Uh, if you guys use um, any kind of, if you guys use uh, Loctite at all, this is the way to go. It's like a, a little, it's like a little stick applier. Instead of dripping it, you just like you push a little bit out with a little twisty at the bottom, and then you wipe it on the threads instead of using the drip method. Which this is great because it, it is less waste and there's less chance of it dripping all over everything else. There you go. Uh, OBD2, OBD2 pocket scanner. I've used it a couple of times. Again, it, El Cheapo, not the greatest thing in the world, but it, when you're in a pinch, it'll tell you what your codes are. Maybe you can figure out what's going on with the car. A couple of different sizes of Forstner bits. Uh, fairly decent and Cujo. I've used them for a couple of things over the years. Um, got some razor blades for my razor knife, or for my razor scraper, I should say. A uh, bunch of drill bits, and then I've got my... Uh, that's, I don't know why that's a random one, but anyway, I've got a random blade bit, and then I've got my uh, my larger, all my, my full set of boring bits and a Ryobi drill bit set. Uh, this is just a C-clamp drawer along with a, um, a tubing cutter, and this is some sort of caliper. I'm not exactly sure. I, I haven't ever looked into what this is used for, but it came with the house, so I just kind of put it in here because, you know, who knows, maybe someday I'll find a use for it. Uh, again, all C clamps. I've got some space in this drawer I can fill up at some point. I, I can, and at some point I can probably just move all that crap out of that drawer and put something in there. Uh, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have some new labels for my drawers here now, and they are Harley Davidson branded. I got screwdrivers, pliers, Allen keys, hardware, ratchets, sockets, sockets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, they were fairly cheap at work, so I bought them. Uh, rivets for the rivet gun over here. That Craftsman rivet gun is actually uh, pretty quality. I like that thing. It's good, high quality. 
There's my staple gun, the manual staple gun. It's fairly handy. I've used that thing a bunch of times. Manual staple guns come in handier than you would think possible. Uh, there's the razor blades for my uh, DeWalt razor knife. This thing is fantastic. Again, that was an expensive razor knife, but this thing is the uh, the bee's knees, as Justin Dow would say. And uh, you can fold this thing, and it'll fit right into it. They could, you can either get a pouch for it, or you can like hang it off of your pocket, but uh, these things are great, and then you just snap it open and cut off. Bob's your uncle. Uh, a couple other El Cheapo razor knives. I got a couple of the little snap ones. I've got a big snap one. And then these, which are, I've never liked these, but it, you know, it never hurts to have one on hand. Uh, there's a couple of razor scrapers, some staplers for the, uh, for the staple gun, random pair of little tiny Fiskars scissors, they, you know, for cutting paper. That's about all they're good for. Not very strong. Uh, this kit contains all of the um, excess tools for my cutoff tool slash uh, straight grinder because I've got you know all of the all the grinder ends for it and I just picked this is the kit that I picked up today that I showed you guys in my uh, my tool haul from Martin's. Uh, there's a little driver for it. Uh, that's part of the that's the chuck for the uh, the grinder that this kit was part of. I just keep all of that stuff in here because it's kind of handy to keep it in one place. Uh, large and small plumbing uh, pipe wrenches, always handy to have those. My ratchet and socket drawer is starting to look a whole lot more organized. I'm much, much happier with the way that this is looking now, I, although I have to get these two over here and these two over here because I, uh, I moved, I, I swapped the two because these sockets fit better on these rails, although again, it's still not perfect because I've got a few that are you know, standing up that just don't quite fit, but it'll do the job for now. Uh, these are all the 12 point shallow sockets, three eighths that I just didn't have room for. So those are all kind of just sitting over here, taking up no space. Uh, actually those are quarter inch and those are, the rest of them are all three eighths. Um, so over here, I've, uh, let's see. Got my quarter inch shallow and deep. I've got standard and metric. I've got my three eighths shallow and deep, metric and standard. Uh, I've got the three eighths uh, Sun X. Uh, these, these bits again, or these are all Craftsman, and these are all Craftsman. These are all Sun X. Uh, my three eighths Master Impact Set. I've got the standard shallow and deep, metric shallow and deep, and then I've got all of my uh, adapters and extensions and all of that and I've got some more impact extensions over here um, these are all impact things for my um, for my quarter inch driver that I'll show you in a minute I've got my half inch extensions that one's standard chrome that one's uh, impact three eighths uh, I've got my little quarter inch down here uh, that's another half inch standard chrome uh, these are my half inch sockets. I've got standard and metric. I don't have any deeps at the moment. That's one of the things I need to get is I need to get some deep sockets. Uh, this is the Craftsman large metric socket set that I bought. Goes up to 36. Yeah, it goes up to 36 from 27. Yes, 27. And then that's the new blue point socket that I just bought the one and seven eighths for the, uh, the front sprocket, not on the Harley because I really needed that. Uh, so we've got my T-handle. These are all the bits for my bit driver set. Uh, double bend 3 8 This one can get into some really awkward spots. So if you've got a really awkward location to get a ratchet into, that thing's fantastic. Uh, There's my quarter inch long handle. I haven't really used it much, and I don't expect it to be very durable. But it's again, it's quarter inch. You don't really need to put a ton of torque on a quarter inch fastener. So. Uh, 3 8 uh, locking flex head matco. 88 tooth from Justin Dow. Love that thing. That's actually, that's probably my most used tool, even above and beyond my screwdrivers. That's a great ratchet. I've got the Husky. Uh, I don't, I, I'm sure you guys saw that uh, video by now. It's a half inch long handle locking flex head Husky hundred position ratchet. That's a great ratchet. I haven't really used it much, but uh, definitely very rugged, very heavy, great ratchet. This is the Pittsburgh um, half inch drive long handle flex head. I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway on that. And also the Pittsburgh half inch um, breaker bar. I'll probably be doing those for my 250 sub giveaway, and then I'll probably get another set for myself. I won't get the, the ratchet because I'm thinking about getting the gear wrench uh, 24 inch half drive um, 84, 84 tooth ratchet, the locking flex head. But uh, this is a good ratchet. You know, it's 72 tooth, fi very fine tooth, uh, 
really strong ratchet. Yeah, that thing's like that thing's legit, guys. That's a really good ratchet right there. There's the Pittsburgh Pro 3 8 ratchet. I'm not sure why they didn't do that one in um, in the the comfort grip style handle, but there you go. And then that's a Torx bit set that uh, that I got because I'm gonna I have a um, the, the new. Um, I'll show you in a couple of drawers, but I've got an, an impact driver, and those are going to be pretty useful for that for working on the Harley. Uh, these are the two professional style impact sockets. I got that one's a proto. That one is two sided. It is 13 16 and seven eighths. So when you're using this end, it's 13 16 and when you're using that end, it's seven eighths. Kind of handy because I thought that it was a wobble socket at first because it was on top of this, but then I found out that this was just a little tiny extension and that was a socket, double ended. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then uh, my Matco 16 millimeter uh, 3 8 drive impact socket. Not too bad. It'll get the job done. Oh, also, another thing uh, one more random star bit T47. I think it's like Stanley or something like that. I'd have to check my, uh, I'd have to take a look at it closer. But uh, here's my wrenches. Uh, again, I need to improve my wrench selection. Um, most of it's Craftsman. I've got a couple of Pittsburgh in here and there. And a couple other styles in here and there are a couple other brands in here and there where I'm missing some of my craftsmen. I don't know what happened to them. They, somewhere in the last four moves, they got lost, and so be it. I got a couple of these. These are uh, Bonnie double end, bo double box end offset wrenches. Uh, those are great, high quality tool guys. Bonnie made really nice tools. Uh, there's the only corner row wrench I got, half inch. I really love that um, that deep jaw, the deep V jaw on that thing, because it really lets you get in on a fastener, and you're grabbing from four sides rather than just two. So that's a handy handy wrench. Uh, there's a Craftsman double ended wrench, double open ended wrench, half inch nine sixteenths. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but I had happened to have one of my my batch of tools, so I grabbed that and hung onto it. I, again, I hate these things. Those are the the ignition wrenches from uh, from Craftsman. They put them in the sets that you buy. I don't know why, because they're garbage. Uh, I got the Stubby Husky um, standard ratch, uh, wrenches, standard double end wrenches. Those come in fairly handy a couple of times. Uh, I got a couple of random bits for the uh, for the router. Another one right there, round over bit. I don't really use them. Uh, I have finally cleaned up my hammer drawer. Thank you very much, Frank M Tech, for the. Uh, for those dead blow hammers, those things have already come in handy a couple of times. This is my like persuasion drawer, I guess you could say. There's the Tecton impact driver tool. That's going to come in re real handy with those Torx bits and also with some uh, you know Allen bits and other stuff. Uh, I, again, uh, I've got the this is I believe a three pound brass sledge, custom made. Uh, one of the guys that my father worked with, a uh, machinist. Uh, custom made that for him on the lathe because my father did him on a favor as a welder. There's my Craftsman Striking Cap Pry Bar set. Those things are great. Fantastic quality, guys. I mean, if you're in a buy and, and cheap money, too, because this set was, it's normally 40 bucks, which in itself is a bargain, and I got them on sale for $18.99, and I've seen them as low as $17.99. So keep, out, keep your eye out for the sales and grab yourself a set of those. They're great quality. Uh, rubber mallet. Everybody can use one of those. I have got uh, 32 ounce, 24 ounce, and uh, 16 ounce, and 12 ounce um, ball peens. Again, this one's the brand new Olympia Tools one, the fiberglass handle. And there's a little uh, a little brass mallet that's come in, as you can see, fairly handy many, many times for when you don't want something to spark because you've got gasoline fumes floating around and you need, still need to hit a fastener. Uh, this is kind of like a random drawer. I've got uh, a whole bunch of soldering equipment over here. I've got uh, aluminum tape, painter's tape, and fiberglass tape. That stuff is strong as shit. That stuff is great. Uh, there's my Purple Harbor Freight, um, yeah, my Purple Harbor Freight paint gun, uh, the HVLP gun. It's I know it's low quality, but damn it, man, I got it on sale for ten bucks. How can you go wrong with that? Uh, oil filter wrenches are in here. I've got my little. That's a little sanding block. Uh, I've got uh, those are the the filters for when you when you're pouring paint into the cup on that thing. There's my three um, torque wrenches, quarter inch, three eighths, and half. Uh, this one's the snap on. The other two are both Harbor Freight uh, Pittsburgh Pro, but 
they're accurate, accurate to within like two pound feet. So I don't really care too much if, about you know being that far off because I'm I'm not an engineer. You know what I mean? Uh, Dewalt chisels, those things are fantastic. Extremely high quality chisels. These things will do like they'll they'll get cut into just about anything. That is the um, I showed you guys that set when I was inside the house. That is uh, what the hell did I? Think? what the hell I bought now. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the punch set. That's uh, fairly handy. I keep that along with all my other punches here. So this is kind of like a punch slash chisel slash file slash brush drawer. All the files are underneath. All the, the brushes are on top. Those are always handy. This is kind of like a, another random drawer. I've got uh, saws. All, I've got blades for the, uh, the jigsaw. More blades for the jigsaw. I've got a bunch of measuring equipment. That's a snap line. Great for uh, for doing woodworking. You lay a line down on something so you know where to cut. Uh, these are these are all my quarter inch fittings. I am swapping those all out. I'm going to be changing all of my fittings on all of my uh, air tools to three eighths fittings, so I'm going to get more airflow through them. Uh, pipe dope tape that's always handy. Uh, brad nails for the brad nailer. Staples for it as well. Something this sta stapler slash nailer. There's one of my blowguns. There's another one underneath here somewhere. Uh, my straight max stubby grinder, very handy. Two inch sander. Uh, there's my 90 degree angle grinder, and that's my three. That's my um, three eighths air ratchet, because you can you know, always have one of those. It's fairly cheap, but you're not doing impact with it, so who cares? I mean, it's not like you're gonna beat on the thing that bad. Some guys will. I don't, because that's what I've got an impact for. But uh, there's the Marvel Mystery Oil Tool Oil, Air Tool Oil. I love that stuff. Uh, let's see, this is my basically electronic drawer, although I've got a tubing bender in here and I've got a flaring, uh, tube flaring kit underneath here. Um, got my triangle, some of my, uh, some of my squares. These are always, you know, they always come in handy. I mean, when, who couldn't use a square? Make sure something is square and make sure you got a, a decent length on it and, uh, Got electrical tape there. There's a multimeter underneath. A very cheap multimeter, but it gets the job done. Does what I need it to. A couple of spare spark plugs. Uh, I've got my. Um, yeah, you know what they are. Feeler gauges. Uh, there's the old school wire strippers, but I keep them around because they've got the crimper on the end. The wire stripper part I don't use anymore, but the crimper I will still use because they're. You, know, you can always use a crimper. That's uh, more razor blades for the, the knife up above. Put that in there. Wire nuts, soldering gun, various pieces of uh, various sizes of heat shrink, always handy to have. And last but not least, uh, this is my power tool drawer. I've got the undercoating gun here that I undercoat the truck with. I have the, uh, this is a house duty gun I'm going to use to paint the house uh, this summer. There is my uh, nailer slash stapler from Numax. Uh, I've got uh, the El Cheapo Harbor Freight uh, cent uh, Central Pneumatic or yeah Central Pneumatic uh, three eighths um, impact gun. El that that thing is so cheap. It's got no power whatsoever. It's got no balls. But I keep it around for you know for beating on. There's my Astro gun. That's the really nice one. Um, there is my straight grinder that I use as a cutter. That's the one that I had all the, uh, the other tools up above for. And then there is my uh, Black & Decker Matrix driver with the impact tool on it. Anyway, that is the updated toolbox tour. Uh, I obviously have more tools because you guys have seen more in some of my other videos and they're not in the drawers now. I've got them in other various parts of the, the garage. I've got another tool. I've got a top toolbox, the crafty old Craftsman 41 inch that I'm going to clean up. I'll probably put some of the tools in there, but uh, just don't have enough room in this toolbox for everything anymore. Anyway, again, this is the updated toolbox tour. Uh, please click like, comment, subscribe. I hope that you guys have a great day. Keep it dirty side down. Have a productive day. And uh, in the words of Hard Knocks Forge, don't send me panties. They never fit.